Hey, it's Darren, and today is Think About Spring Cleaning Day. <laughs> no, uh, don't actually do it. Just think about it. Don't get ahead of yourself now. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your daily dose of weird news. State police say a man has thrown a Jesus vanity license plate at his older brother during a fight in Pennsylvania, cutting him badly enough to require treatment by paramedics. 45-year-old James Wiles of Spring Hill Township is charged with simple assault and harassment over the argument with his 47-year-old brother on February 24th. Police say Wiles' brother was cut by the plate's sharp edge. Even worse, because it was a Jesus license plate, he had to turn the other cheek and let his brother throw it at him again. A woman who returned items to a Kmart in Racine, Wisconsin, is accused of leaving behind a big pile of her own excrement. Melissa Jacobson was arrested after she allegedly snuck behind a store cash register and defecated in a box of security tags. Her first mistake was doing this at Kmart. If she'd done it at Walmart, nobody would have noticed for like six or seven days. A restroom at a Walmart in eastern Indiana has been closed indefinitely after an employee discovered a working meth lab inside. See. I told you, they wouldn't have noticed for like six or seven days. A new study has discovered 30 new species of flies in the smog of Los Angeles. Well, that should boost tourism. An Indonesian woman claims she's willing to marry whoever buys her house. Don't fall for it, guys. She'll likely divorce you and take half the house a month later. Police in Fairbanks, Alaska say a 21-year-old man drove a stolen forklift more than three miles while intoxicated to retrieve a truck he crashed. You know, actually, that's some pretty quick thinking for a guy who's intoxicated. An argument between a 64-year-old man who wanted a Budweiser beer and his 66-year-old friend who handed him a can of Bush instead ended when the disgruntled recipient shot the other man in the arm, wounding him in a New Orleans area parking lot. The victim's wounds were not life-threatening. This isn't the first argument between the two beer drinkers, either. Last year, one of them was stabbed during a tastes great, less filling debate. A new study shows that too much praise can turn your child into a rude narcissist. Giving them a Nobel Peace Prize for no reason doesn't help any, either. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. Get more weird news with the free Daily Dose of Weird News app for Apple or Android at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Until next time, keep it real. Weird.